All right, we've talked about these three assumptions, but now it says what two additional assumptions are usually made to ensure that consumers have well-behaved preferences. In other words, what are some other assumptions that make it easy to derive or easy to display and write demand curves, indifference curves, see how choices respond to changes in prices, uh, to, to make proofs about these things uh, that perhaps also seem reasonable. Okay, so I'm going to free up some space here. So one other thing you'll hear referred to is that in, in many parts of economics and in, in optimization is called convexity. Okay, let me unpack this definition and then I'll give you what the intuition for it is. Okay, suppose we have X that has two elements. Of course, this will apply to any number of elements, okay? It, but it, right now it's easiest to think about and to draw with two elements. So consider X, which is a bundle of, of, of let's say, this amount of cooks, some amount of cookies, and some amount of milk, and Y, which is a bundle of, I don't know, perhaps less cookies and more milk. Okay. Uh, so if X, if the person is indifferent between X and Y, if this, so this is the if then, so if I say, if I say X, indifferent to y, arrow, means if x is indifferent to y, uh, then, but actually there's an and here, so I should say if x is indifferent to y, uh, no, sorry, there's no and here. If x is indifferent to y, then delta is simply a constant, okay? Delta x1 plus one minus delta y one comma that's one minus delta y one uh, delta x two plus one minus delta y two is actually preferred to x uh, is actually preferred to x1 comma x2, which by the way, we've already decided was indifferent to y1 comma y2. So it's also by the transitivity of, of this combined with this, it's also preferred to y1, y2. Okay, um, this is a lot of notation. Is it clear to us? Okay, what are we talking about here? What is this delta plus one minus delta business? So we're saying, See this bundle here? Suppose I have two bundles. Let me, let me in fact, draw this with a nice mapping. All right, we got, uh, let's call this x1 and x2 as before. And I got two points, and I'm indifferent between these points. I like these points. I think this point is just as good as this point. What's this point? Let's call this point x, which has some amount, which has x1 of x1. Ooh, using the same thing twice, that's a bit confusing. Uh, let's call this big X1 and this big X2, okay? So this has X1 of big X1 and X2 of big X2. And we call this point X. And point Y has Y1 of big X1 and Y2 of big X2. Okay, and I think these points are just as good as one another. Uh, now, what this is forcing me to consider is what are called convex combinations of these things. In other words, here's one bundle, here's one box, whatever you like, here's another box. Okay, give me some share of the first box and some share of the second box. Okay, by the way, this wasn't stated here, but we should have zero, less than or less than or equal to will also work, delta less than or equal to one. 
Okay, so give me half of one box and half of the other, or a third of one box and two thirds of the other. Okay, so I could also write this as, uh, so you can, if I think of this x as y as vectors, I can also write this as if x is indifferent to y, thinking of these as vectors, then delta x, so some share of this vector, so half, let's suppose it's two thirds, one third. So if I get two thirds of x and, and uh, 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 one third of y, I'm saying I get two thirds of this amount of the first element, one third of this amount of the first element, two, two thirds of this amount of the first element, a second element, one third of this amount of the second element. So I say delta, let's for instance, two thirds of this bundle, right, two thirds of that plus uh, comma, sorry. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no plus, sorry, plus delta plus one minus delta y. So I get two thirds of the first bundle, one third of the second bundle, and that ends up looking like this. You know, so this is because I get two thirds of this element of, of the first element of this bundle and one third of the uh, first element of this bundle. So you see how much x, how much of the first thing do I have? I get two thirds of times the amount in this bundle, one third times the amount in this bundle. How much of the second element I, do I get? I get two thirds of the amount in, in the x bundle, one third of the amount in the y bundle, or whatever one minus delta is. I just said one third. Okay. So that's that's another way of writing it. If x is indifferent to vector x is indifferent to vector y. If I'm indifferent between these two vectors, I'm indifferent between delta x and plus delta share of the first vector and, or the first bundle and one minus delta share of the second bundle. Okay, so what does this look like? Well, if I, what we're saying is if I'm indifferent between these two bundles, now, mathematically, what, and I, I, I'm just gonna assume your knowledge of this rather than going through the math, what does it look like to say I want some share of one bundle and some share of the other bundle? That works. We, if I have half of each bundle, that will put me basically here. If I have a third of one bundle and two thirds of the other bundle, that'll put me, let's say here. So all the points along this line represent all of these points varying what delta is, or all of these points varying what delta is. Same thing, just here I use the vector notation. So these points are each delta if this is x vector, if this is y vector, these points along this line are delta of the x vector and one minus delta of the y vector, where zero is less than or equal to delta is less than or equal to one, right? If it becomes greater than one, then I'm going up in this direction. So what they're saying is that all of these points are at least, if these points are indifferent, all of these points are at least as good and possibly better than either of these points. Okay, so that's your convexity. Uh, I've spent a lot of time on it. Let me pause the thing and, and um, go explain the next in the next clip.